you cannot have big league economic growth in America with little league transportation systems. It's just not possible. If your bridges and your roads are falling apart, you simply cannot have the growth that we need. And those jobs and the growth are the number one uh, issue uh, for our people. And literally, infrastructure improvements and roads, bridges, and transportation systems and jobs are two sides of the same coin. They go hand in hand. So that's point number one. Point number two, Mr. President, touches on this question of, uh, of how we stack up to some of our competitors worldwide. If you can't move goods and services efficiently in this country, our businesses are practically in the position where they have to put up a sign and say, we can't compete with China. Because when China is making these kinds of investments that we heard Senator Kerry and other colleagues on both sides of the aisle talk about in the last few days, you know what we are up against. Transportation is the key to moving goods and services efficiently. We have bottlenecks, for example, in my part of, of, of the country, in the metropolitan area, and frankly, in rural areas where people couldn't have dreamed there would be a traffic jam even a few years ago. Point number three, and that is that there is no economic multiplier in our country like transportation. When you make investments, well-targeted investments in transportation, you create jobs for the folks who are building uh, those projects. You create uh, jobs for the people who are selling the equipment. You are selling, you are creating jobs for folks like uh, the people in the restaurants who make the ham sandwiches for the workers who are out there building uh, the projects and trying to find ways to help our people avoid traffic and save gas as they try to get to and from work. So this is a big economic multiplier. And fourth, Mr. President, as you know from uh, your experience as a Westerner, the history of our part of the world is that private investment has always followed well-targeted public investments. You look all over the West and the great distances that our folks have, have to travel, you look and you will see again and again that the key to getting more private sector investment, which is in my view the key to economic recovery, it's that private sector job growth that's behind uh, the tax reform bill I have with Senator Coates, first bipartisan tax reform bill. We need private sector job growth in the West the history of our region is that private sector employment has traditionally followed uh, public investments, well-targeted uh, public investments. Now, what I want to see us do, Mr. President, what the vote is all about uh, coming up, is to give us a chance to move to the bill. And if we move to the bill, I believe there are all kinds of opportunities for Democrats and Republicans through amendments and a variety of, of uh, opportunities to exchange ideas to come up with bipartisan uh, approaches.